Hi, I'm Jorge De La Torre from Johnson Wells University, and today we're going to make a rhubarb strawberry fool. Rhubarb and strawberry are usually the first things that come out of your spring garden. So what I like to do is an easy, simple dessert. We're going to add some rhubarb. Rhubarb's kind of, not kind of tart, it's very tart. So it needs some sugar, but then we'll add some strawberries. We're going to make kind of a compote. A little sugar, some orange juice. So we'll let that cook for a little bit. We're gonna add a little vanilla for flavor. So meanwhile, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start making our fool. So a fool, it is very popular, it's like a parfait, but I'm gonna lighten it up a little. So I'm gonna mix a little, right now I'm gonna start with a little yogurt. I'm gonna add some honey and we're gonna add the zest of one orange. So what we're gonna do is now that I have it mixed up, as you can see, I'm gonna add this, and this is my whipped cream. I don't want to mix it around a lot because I've already incorporated some air. I want it to be as light and fluffy as possible. So what I do is I fold it. I go underneath and I just fold it over. Underneath and fold it over. Just enough to incorporate. So you can see that since I cut up the rhubarb in nice thin slices, that is already coming apart really quickly. You can see the sugar, everything's bubbling up. So right now I'm letting those flavors. There's a lot of water in strawberries and a lot of water in rhubarb, plus we added the juice. Sugar takes out the water. So what we want to do is we want to boil that out, concentrate the flavor so you have a real rich, deep strawberry and rhubarb flavor. So we're going to let that down. We're going to cool it. We've got to cool it down a little because what are we doing? If we just added the hot, right, immediately hot to that cool yogurt, it would be uh, it would melt the, the cream down. So we're just going to give it a few seconds. Garnishes should be edible, so take out all the things that you can't eat. Nothing bugs me when people give me something that I got to work at. So what we'll do is we'll do it in a rocks glass. And then we'll start with just a little of this rhubarb strawberry. Then a little more. Then a little more of this. And when you're making desserts, one of the things that you always want to take a look at also is you want to have components, you want to have a crunch factor. So right now everything's pretty soft. You have a compote, you have cream, but it's always nice to give it a little something at the end, something to kind of move it up. So I, lo I love sprinkling ground ginger snaps on it. And there we go. You saw that in just a few minutes. And like I said, if you wanted to use your own whipped topping, I love, of course, I'm a big whipped cream fan, so heavy whipped cream. But if you need a whip topping, or if you were extra quick and you needed the ready whip and you need to fold that in, whatever it takes to get a nice fresh dessert out using what you got from the garden, that's what it takes. All our recipes are available on our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre of Johnson Wells University. Let's dig in.